Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by. And yes, it has been uh, quite a while since I put out a video. I know I say that every time, but uh, for very good reason, the map is going very well. I'm super excited about it. Hopefully you guys are still excited about it. I am uh, on the second last branch, so most of the map is actually complete. A uh, ton of testing still has to be done, and I've got to do the finale. But uh, really excited to get that out. Don't have release date. That's as much as I want to say about Diversity 2 today because I don't want to talk about the map. I want to talk about an issue that's been plaguing me for the last couple of weeks. I don't know how long. Um, as of probably 1411A, I think, is the first time I noticed it. Uh, there's been a major change to custom player heads. And what I'm talking about custom player heads, this is the... Probably if you've seen any YouTube video, um, this is the way that they would have showed you how to do it. Uh, if you're not a map maker, I'll just explain. We're going to give the nearest player, which is me, a skull, one of them, and a damage value or data value of three, which is the human head, with the skull owner tag of whoever's name you want. And that would give you uh, my head. You can see it's got my name on it, and I place it down on the ground, and there we go. Now, if you're a map maker and you've tried this, and sometimes it even crashes or it doesn't load, um, you'll notice there is a bit of a delay. I think that's because Minecraft is actually converting it to the new way that it that uh, the head is um, stores MBT. But uh, there is a section in diversity that uses a ton of your guys' heads, and <laughs> I actually, when they made this change, that whole section deleted from the map, and I was freaking out. I was like, what's going on? I don't want to have to redo all those. Uh, don't worry, guys. I salvaged that. Uh, you guys look great. But uh, all has to do with the new change that Mojang has made with player accounts, UUIDs, and all that stuff. And probably any YouTube video shows you the old way, so I want to show you the new 1.8 way that the wiki sort of alludes to, but uh, doesn't really go into depth. So what we're going to be talking about is uh, summoning a mob with a with a player head on it. Uh, this is the old way to do it, the uh, or probably the way you're familiar with, because um, only in new snapshots you're giving a problem. We're going to summon a zombie above the command block. Equipment of nothing except for a skull um, with uh, my name on it. And if you've tried this command, you may have noticed this is what happens. It is a Steve head, which is kind of a bummer because you don't want a Steve head. You want a uh, you want my head or whoever's head, like your friend's head or whatever. Um, it does work, as you can see. I'll, I'll show you here. There is uh, my head, and that is a major change. So uh, let me just uh, kill these guys so we can. Get some quiet here. Type equals zombie. Um, this is the old syntax here. Uh, you'll notice this is basically... I kind of went over this just briefly. And up until the skull owner tag, it's very simple. And in my opinion, this change is makes map making quite a bit more difficult. I'll show you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so here we have the same start. But once we get to the skull owner tag... Look at this. Everything, we've got an ID tag, we've got some texture tags, and it appears that um, Minecraft is actually putting the texture into the skull itself. I don't know if that's going to update player heads when they update theirs. Look at this signature. It's like a massive command. It's, it's insane. I'm going to post all these commands in the description so you can see, but uh, I'm going to give you an easier way to get this stuff because you're probably thinking how am I even going to get this stuff like like it's easy to know a player's account but if I'm a map maker how am I going to get all these these letters and things so thanks to a guy named Steven Verburn over on the Jira bug report website he really helped me clarify this issue it's not a bug it's actually the way it's now coded look at that it's actually so long you can't you can't fit it in <laughs> this you've got to put it in a command block uh, so what we're gonna do is we are going to start with a new head we're gonna start with the probably I guess notch would be a good one give that P uh, skull again one of them three data value with skull owner tag uh, with the name in proper capitalization this gives me notch's head you can see there notch's head and I'm gonna place it in You'll notice, well, you won't notice this, but there is a slight delay. 
uh, which I believe Minecraft's actually converting it to the new format. Uh, we, we have his head there now. I'm going to just clear this out. What we want to do now is go to survival mode, and we also want to make sure tile drops are true. Now, if you're not a map maker, that means if I break a block, I'm going to pick up that block. Like it's going to, like an entity is going to pop out. If it's off, then you'll break the block and nothing will happen. It'll just be an empty space. Once we have tile drops on and survival mode, we're going to break the head, and you're going to notice uh, it doesn't have the name there, but the MBT data is stored in that little entity there, and we're going to put it in this chest. Now, put a command block below the chest, throw this in the chest, and the command you want to put in here, switch back to uh, <laughs> creative so you can look at the command block, is this lock command. So all these uh, all these commands I'm going to put in the description. You can copy it and it'll be a little bit easier for you. Put this lock command. We're going to block data this uh, one, one block above this command block. It's the chest. We're going to lock it. Done. Click this and now this chest is locked. But what happens is we load it here and you can see in the output thing it's got all that information here so we can grab it easily um, to get the UUID and to get the texture tags and uh, yeah so what we want to do now let's see if I remember this correctly we want to grab this uh, skull owner tag all the way up to here so before the slot and we want to copy it it's so long we can't even post it in <laughs> in the chat here but um, now what you want to do is you want to take your old command and where your skull owner tag is, the curly brackets, replace that. Okay? So let me just go over that quickly one more time. Um, just so you don't lose. So before the slot, that the commas don't really matter, but before the slot and include the uh, include the curly bracket in front of skull owner. Copy it. So control uh, C on Windows. And then take this and should be able to replace it like that. Space done, and you should be able to summon Notch's head. There we go. So uh, it is possible. It is a quite a bit more work. Um, it's definitely nowhere near as easy. Also, the give command works as well. If you were to uh, give, let's see, if you were to give at p skull uh, one three, and then your command whatever. You need a command block because the tag is so long it doesn't fit in here. You can get that head, and there's no delay because it's already it's already in that format. Uh, but yeah, in my opinion, it's not a great change, but I don't think a lot of people know about that. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, obviously, thanks to Steven Verburn who helped me out figuring that out. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's great news, but it's good news that now we know how to do it uh, in uh, in maps. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped you. Hopefully, uh, you spread the word that this is the new way, and I really hope Mojang fixes this to make it simple again. But enjoy your Minecrafting, and I uh, can't wait to get Diversity 2 out there.